as much as you can, try to reduce the amount of fried food that you consume. Whether it's fried fish, fried meats, fried chicken, fried potatoes, fried vegetables, fried pastry, anything that goes into the oil, as much as you can try to reduce or completely eliminate it hey guys can... welcome back to my channel so today we are talking about foods you need to avoid if you are trying to conceive if you are new to my channel you're very welcome here my name is nosa i'm a mom of three and i make motherhood and lifestyle videos on my channel and recently we have been talking a lot more about women's health and fertility which was inspired by my journey to conceiving baby number three so if you love content like this anything relating to motherhood and you know mom lifestyle then i would really love for you to subscribe and be a part of my youtube family and i hope you stick around i also hope you guys find this video helpful so yeah let's get into it we have a lot to talk about today Okay, so last week we talked about some foods you should be eating if you are trying to conceive. Food that are nutritious, food that will help to boost your fertility, that will help to balance your hormones, that, will, that are just good for your overall health and fertility again. Okay, and whether you are trying to conceive or not, the list of food we mentioned last week are foods that you should be eating if you are getting older, if you are close to your 30s, 40s, all of that. That video I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the link in my description box it will also pop up at the end of this video so watch this video to the end so that you can uh, find the link to that video and click on it to watch it and educate yourself yeah. so, so today we are talking about food 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 we all love to eat but there are some foods that you're probably eating right now that is very very bad for your health for your hormones for your fertility the truth is the food we eat determines how well we are it determines the state of your mind your mental health the food you eat determines how your cells your hormones functions and also the food that we eat play a major role it determines how long we get to live on earth yes so if you want to live healthy you want to live long you want to uh have babies you want to have the perfect eggs you know you just want to be healthy then you really need to consider the food that goes into your body okay so with all of that being said let us go into the list of food you should stop eating right now or avoid if you are trying to conceive so first i will give you guys the list of foods then we'll go back and talk about the nutritional values of all of them so the first food on my list is sugar i'm sure you knew that was coming sugar okay we're going to talk about this more the next one is high carbs food that has high carbohydrates the next one is low fat diary we talked about this last week the next one is trans fat we're going to expand shit on that the next one is processed meat the next one is processed food processed meat processed food the next one is excessive alcohol or just alcohol and the last one on my list is excessive caffeine if you love coffee hold up hold up hold up you need to start checking how much coffee you're taking into your body if you are trying to conceive okay so the first one is sugar oh it sounds so delicious but guess what it is a killer if you are trying to conceive so sugar in your body can cause weight gain it can also lead to inflammation of some cells in your body and you know directly affecting your reproductive organs sugar also leads to high glucose levels so if some women who are trying to conceive have issues like diabetes and you know you can keep trying and trying for a long time and you wouldn't even know that the food you're eating is causing your blood uh, your sugar level or glucose level to rise the amount of sugar you take can affect the quality of your egg that you produce as a woman it can also cause like uh, ovulatory issues so sugar has a huge role to play in fertility okay the truth is there's sugar in basically everything we eat there's sugar in fruits there's sugars in vegetables there's sugars in you know all the tiny tiny snacks that we have around sugar everywhere so i'm going to focus on quantity and quality there are some types of sugar that are the top killers okay an example is soda you see all these soft drinks fanta coke marinda seven up just avoid those foods okay avoid them whether in your grocery store or you go to a party other examples are lemonades energy drinks alternative sugars you know those kind of drinks that have alternative sugar they say zero sugar but some kind of sweetness i'm talking about drinks like this yes this is coke zero me and my husband are addicted to this drink i know it is not good but i'm not trying to conceive okay anyway 
this type of drinks that has alternative sugars look at this one i'm sure you guys know this one you see it in every restaurant you go to splendor oh it is called a very good alternative to sugars these are all killers sugar and alternative to sugars they are killers okay let me read something to you quickly sugar has huge effect on fertility both for men and women sugar affects egg quality and it can cause ovulatory disorders so if you are finding it difficult to track your ovulation if you have like hormonal imbalance which was something that i experienced you need to check how much sugar you're consuming every day you also want to avoid sugary foods like cookies cakes pastries chocolate you know all of those foods that are made with a lot of sugar ice cream yogurt uh, last week we'll talk about Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is a better alternative, but you see the other types of yogurt You want to avoid them. They are full of sugar and has nothing to offer you for your fertility Look, I'm not saying you can't eat any of this food at all. Maybe once in a while Okay, but if I were you if I am trying to conceive right now and nothing is working for me I don't mind eliminating all of these foods from my diet number two the other types of food you should stop eating right now if you're trying to conceive are high carbohydrate food, high carbs food. I'm talking about food like your bagels, your chips, potato chips, plantain chips, your white rice, white bread, white pasta, everything made with white flour, okay? Pastries, cakes, potatoes, yams, if you are from Africa, Nigeria to be specific, all the swallows, pounded yam, fufu, just all the swallows okay they are all high carbs food these foods are very filling they are very comforting but they are full of carbs and what happens when you eat carbohydrates it turns into starch and starch turns into sugar again so you're already eating a lot of sugary food and then you are topping it with some high carbs food there is just no chance no chance of conceiving anytime soon so carbohydrates just like the sugary food we just mentioned causes your sugar levels to spike and that can lead to inflammation and that can also affect your hormones you know causing your hormones to to be thrown off balance so you want to stop eating or at least reduce the amount of high carbohydrate foods that you consume last week we talked about foods that you can replace you know high carbohydrate food with you can eat some brown rice some whole grain whole wheat these are much much better than high carbs food you can always replace your high carb swallow with some low carbs i'm talking to my nigerian brothers and sisters we love our swallows we love our eba we love all our fufu but there are some alternate you know some better options that you can that you can eat uh, that are much healthier and there are a lot of videos on youtube okay all right okay number three the third types of food you should avoid right now if you are ttcing a low fat diary when you go to the store and you buy milk or cheese and you see where it is written low fat or fat free avoid those foods okay now you can replace this with whole whole milk we talked about this last week so just go watch last week video and you know what to replace this with so anything low fat is not for you if you are TTC. Okay. So, that's so the next set of food you should avoid if you are trying to conceive are called trans fats examples of food under trans fats are fast food all the fast food fries you know all these delicious french fries fried chicken all those food that goes into some deep deep oil to be fried those donuts uh frozen pizzas pie cookies cakes pastries you know all the pastries like all the meat pies and fish roll all of that stuff these foods cause a lot of inflammation they are bad for both male and female fertility they lead to an issue called anovulation someone has mentioned this issue to me sometime in my comment section and i had i had to look into it and i realized that yes some of the foods we eat can cause anovulation so if you have been diagnosed for an issue a fertility issue like this you need to check the foods that you are eating they may be um you know causing you to have this issue and even if you're trying to get treatment if you are treating it but you're still eating the same food that's causing the issue then you may not be getting anywhere with your ttc journey okay and let me tell you whenever you go to a store to buy to buy food you know packaged food look at the nutritional value look at how much trans fat it has look at how much sodium it has look at how much sugar it has that's how you know what to buy and what not to buy what to eat and what not to eat so yeah these are the types of food under the category of trans fats that you should avoid if you are ttc the next set of food you should avoid whether you are ttc or not are processed meats 
And you guys, I'm not even going to take it easy on you. This food, you should completely avoid eating, at least for the next three to six months. I'm talking about foods like sausages, bacon, hot dogs, salami, pastrami. These food are highly cured, highly processed, and you do not want them in your body if you are trying to conceive. They are filled with chemicals and preservatives, you know, to always keep that taste, that fresh taste. So whenever you eat it, oh, it just feels so, so delicious. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I eat food like bacon and sausages, I keep drinking water for the whole of that day, and that is just not normal. So they are filled with preservatives, sodium, and salts. They have a lot of trans fat, which we just talked about, and they affect both men and women's fertility. So they affect a woman's air quality and men's sperm count. So you want to avoid anything processed meats. They are just bad for you. And replace them with some healthy fish or chicken. We talked about this last week. The next one is alcohol. I'm sure you already know that alcohol is bad for health, whether for men or for women. I'm going to read from my book because there's a lot to dish out. Alcohol can affect the sperm quality of men. It can also cause hormonal imbalance for women. And alcohol can disrupt your menstrual cycle. So if you are a woman that loves to take some kind of alcohol here and there, it can affect your menstrual cycle. And that will also cause a problem for you to track your ovulation and in turn getting pregnant. And if you have a partner that loves to take alcohol, you may want to talk this out with him, you know, to reduce the level of alcohol that he takes. And hopefully you see changes in your trying to conceive journey. Okay, the next one is excessive caffeine, which is found in coffee. I am not someone that loves to take coffee. I barely drink coffee. Uh, but, you know, from what I know, one or two cups of coffee a day is, is safe enough for women who are trying to conceive. But anything up to four or five cups of coffee a day, I live in a country where people are should I say obsessed with coffee? It's like life. Coffee and life is, you know, they go together. Uh, so yeah, if you're someone who is addicted to coffee, you want to reduce your intake of, of caffeine, you know. When you take up to four to five cups of coffee a day, it can decrease your fertility. And it can also lead to miscarriages, okay? So alcohol, coffee, these are two things that you want to watch out in your body uh, every day. Your daily consumption of them is very, very important to your fertility and your overall health. Okay, still talking about foods, the next set of food you should avoid if you are TTC are highly processed foods. Trans fat food are also known as processed foods. They are some of those foods that you go to the store and you see them in boxes like already made. All you need to do is just buy it, put it in the microwave for like five minutes and your food is ready. You know? magic i'm talking about thin veggies okay instead of buying some fresh veggies you buy vegetables that are already cooked in containers and bring it home and you start eating i'm talking about frozen pizza i'm talking about frozen waffles and bagels like granola bars frozen pancakes frozen pizza frozen pie Oh my goodness, I'm talking about instant noodles. Oh, so delicious. So not healthy for you. All of these foods you should avoid if you are trying to conceive. Even margarine, yes. You, I prefer butter. Butter is healthier than margarine, okay? And microwavable popcorn. Those popcorn that you just put in the microwave and, you know, in one minute it is done. I mean, I do it too, okay? So I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying these foods are bad for our health and fertility. As much as you can, try to reduce the amount of fried food that you consume. Whether it's fried fish, fried meats, fried chicken, fried potatoes, fried vegetables, fried pastry, anything that goes into the oil. As much as you can, try to reduce or completely eliminate it. You, I have learned the habit of baking all my foods. Like I literally bake everything. You will hardly see me frying anything in my cooking videos. If you eat any of these foods, then please, please start to avoid them after watching this video, okay? Another set of food you should start avoiding from today are high mercury fish. Last week we talked about some healthy fish you can eat if you are trying to conceive and those are salmon fish and sardines but there are also some kind of fishes that are harmful to your health and fertility. I'm talking about fishes like swordfish, sea bass, king mackerel, tuna fish, these fishes, some of them are bottom feeders. They feed down, down under the ocean and they are high. They are full of mercury and they are so bad, not just for you, but for your baby. They are also bad for your baby. So if you get pregnant and you do not even know and you are consuming all of this fish, it can affect your baby's brain development. Sometimes, you know, there are some researchers out there that some babies who are born with some birth, birth defects 
uh, may have been in a situation where their mothers were consuming some of these foods. These are not my words. These are scientific facts, okay, that are out there. So you want to avoid high mercury fishes and eat other healthy fishes like salmon and sardines. You want to turn it on? Another one is soy milk and soybeans. This can affect a woman's egg production, ovulation, and a man's sperm count. Okay, so you want to avoid eating anything made with soy, whether it's soy milk or soybeans. They are just not good for your for your fertility. Okay, so we have talked about a lot of food today that you should avoid eating if you are trying to conceive. And I just want to say this. This diet is not compulsory or these changes are not compulsory, okay? If you don't believe them, fine, you can continue eating whatever you are eating. But if you have tried and tried and tried and nothing is working, then there's nothing wrong, you know, to change your diet and see how that changes the game of trying to conceive. I told you guys in my last video that I had to change my diet completely when I was battling with hormonal acne. I trained my body, trained my mind so much to love brown rice, to love whole wheat bread and all of those foods that you, will, you may consider boring and when I did I noticed how my body changed my hormones became balanced that was one thing I was really fighting with my hormones were all over the place with the kind of food I was eating but once I changed my diet my hormones went back to you know the normal place so um, if you have a hormonal, hormonal imbalance if you have other kind of fertility issues you know even issues like fibroid PCOS um, endometritis or whatever it's called I'm sorry if I didn't say that the right way uh, or other kind of fertility issues then you may want to look into the kinds of food that you are consuming into your body every day. It may be inflaming it, you know, making it worse. Uh, yeah, just changing your diet can go a long way in improving your fertility, in, you know, improving your air quality and your overall health, okay? So please watch that video from last week and after today, then sit down, make a list of all the foods that you want to remove from your diet because I'm sure there's a lot of it on this list, okay? And train your body to love all the other new foods, the different foods that we talked about last week, okay? And I really hope that you see a lot of changes. I hope that you get pregnant. I pray that you get pregnant. And yeah, come back here to tell me nine months time that, hey, I got pregnant and I had my baby, okay? I'll be very, very happy to see that comment. So if you guys have any other video ideas, put it in the comment section, then I will try to, you know, do something, do my research and come out here and share. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, if it was helpful to you, then please give it a thumbs up. Drop your comments also. Just, you know, let me know if there's anything you want to ask or, yeah, just drop a comment down below. And um, I love you guys so, so much. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye! Yeah? Okay, you can come down. That's my baby. <laughs> Bye, guys.